Hey, yes, Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Bella Boulevard, and I'm sharing with you my first design team project. So this is a large photo created uh, using spring layout, created using the Just Because collection. Um, so I am starting with a white cardstock base, and I am going to use a lot of the B-sides from this collection to just build upon um, this large photo. So this photo was taken in March, um, and we went up to D.C to see the cherry blossoms and uh, I wanted to use the pinks and the orangey slash yellows of this collection with just a hint of green to just kind of pop those colors um, and so I I really wanted to use the b-sides um, because those are the less busier patterns and the ones that worked really well for me in building this collection um, in building this layout I'm sorry so you can see I have a bunch of um, strips and so I've used a few of the borders and I want to layer them behind the photo and then use some of the florals to accentuate the cherry blossoms that are in the picture. I did convert the picture to black and white because um, the color really isn't important here as well as the fact that she is wearing a green raincoat. Um, it was cold up there this day and so I really wanted the emphasis of the the photo to be more on her and the the setting but not so much the colors um, and that's why I converted the photo to black and white so I'm going to mat this large photo with the hot pink there um, so you can see how I'm building layers um, around the photo to just sort of pop the photo so in the um, ephemera pack, there are those two banners of flowers, and I like the way that they kind of drape like curtains across the page. I really wanted the title to be just beautiful and simple, and I love the way from the just from the ephemera pack coordinated. It's the same font as that in the chipboard, and so I was able to use the two of those together um, to complement each other to complete the title for the layout. Um, my two favorite bits always um, from B Bella Boulevard have been the um, the border stick, the border pattern paper. I always use that, and you'll see me do that a lot, um, as well as the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, I always use the, the long borders, and so um, um, there you go. There's your long border. And I almost always use the um, the alpha as well. And I love the multicolor alpha, but because I'm not using all of the colors in the collection, it's not going to work for this particular layout. And so I use other elements in order to um, come up with the title there for the the, the this particular photo. So I am committing to these strips being the way that they are. I've committed to some of the um, embellishment pieces. It's just wanting to layer upon them from that. Sorry, I was checking that it was still recording. My um, iPhone lately has just been randomly shutting off and I've been getting partial videos and it's so incredibly frustrating because once you've cut into things, you can't go back and recut in and rebuild the layout, especially if you use liquid adhesive, which I do do for some of my finer elements. So I really want to incorporate that hot pink strip. Um, I was trying to find a way to put that in there. And then I also have this other large polka dot piece of pattern paper that I thought somehow I could incorporate into that as well. But I, I started to realize that I was just trying to use these things because I had them um, and not because the design necessarily needed them. And that's the tough thing I think when you're designing and you have all the things is you really want to use all the things, but the design doesn't always call for all of the things. So. I struggled here with the uh, the title being partially on the photo and partially off of the photo, but what I ultimately decided is that yes, I was going to go ahead and do that because I like the way that it pulls it all together. Um, initially, I was going to have it run up the side of the page, but it it didn't work with the with the Washington Monument in the background and the lines that I had created being more horizontal lines. So. Um, I am committing to these things. You can see I dug through the ephemera pack there, um, the word pack to see if there were, I am a big tags girl. I, I use tags a lot as well as labels. Um, and so you will always see me pull those elements in for layering. So I ended up using that plaid piece or just a strip it doesn't look like plaid in, the, in this situation, um, the diagonal plaid 
uh, the left hand side there I like the way that it really grounds it and it complements that grounding piece on the right hand side um, it's also got that shot of hot pink in it as well which just pulls the photo um, as well so uh, the way I've positioned the photo Mia is now in the center my subject of the photo is now in the center of the layout which just balances that out as well so here's the title that I um, commented on earlier and then I'm going to use this tag to just house some florals and provide some contrast to those florals against the yellow there. Um, some of my ephemera pieces were slightly off cut and so just I was just trimming off here. Um, you will frequently see that I will trim off white borders if there's too much but that was more because it was off cut than that there was too much. I just wanted it to be balanced white all the way around. So my nice little drape of florals there and they're actually kind of like the cherry blossoms or a similar shape. I will off camera actually get um, some um, of the uh, scrapbook.com uh, the stuff that you can make it like Nouveau I forget what it's called I'm going to use that and put that in the center there the problem is is that I accidentally shook the layout and so it all sort of it, it's not the best looking dots that I've created but I will put those in the center of those florals there so I've pulled out some of the Bella Pops um, the flowers I don't like a lot of dimension I like dimension on my page you will always hear that I will always use foam adhesive but I don't like a lot of dimension I don't like skyscrapers on my page as well what I say and so with the Bella Pops I very frequently pull them apart and create multiple layers um, kind of stretches them makes them go a little bit longer so you will see me in a second um, pull out one of these flowers and actually um, separate it so that I have two different layers and what I really like about this is is actually now two similar flowers um, that will span the page and kind of create a line um, I it, funnily enough, I really only have two clusters of flowers um, united by, here you go, there's the two layers. Um, but then I will off camera next to beautiful put in um, one of the puffy sticker florals. And so there is a visual triangle. You won't see it. It, as I'm creating here, um, but you will see it in the, in the um, full layout. So I initially pulled out a variegated green and white baker's twine, and I you can see it in the top right there, but I fussed with it for a really long time, and I cut that out of the video because you did not need to sit and watch me for like, I think it was a good three minutes fussing around with this twine. So I have the green. I really like that. I like that it complements the green that's in the banners. And that's the only green that's there. So I did want to pull just a shot more of green into the layout. And I really like the visual interest that it gives um, the layout here. So I didn't like um, just the single layer of twine pulled through the tag. So I'm going to double it up and tie a bow um, onto this little mini tag here. And look how cute this is going to be once it is is like it adds a really fun amount of movement with the double layers um, there isn't that sweet yeah so there's a part of me that thinks I might go back in and um, tie four bows and just stick them on top of the bows that are already at the top of the page because again that will add to some movement and it was a windy day so it kind of mimics the wind that was going on um, not that you would know that unless you were there uh, but I, I'm not quite sure because I do get other green in the layout and I, I think if I put the bows it might just add a little bit too much so here we go just adding just a few more finishing small small details but that really pull the layout together nicely. So I do have an unboxing of this collection over on the Bella Boulevard um, channel. So if you aren't sure what this collection entails and would like to see a little bit more of it, definitely head over um, there and you can see the entire collection that I have unboxed. So here I'm adding a mix of um, the enamels as well as these puffy stickers. Um, I like that. I like the see-through of the of the enamel stickers, um, and it just again adds a shot of color. I really like that green arrow up there because now I have a stronger shot of green. So that's going to wrap it up, my friends. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.